Thank you, Todd. Now, the way we're going to do this is uh, we're going to ask each candidate a question. They'll have two minutes to respond. Uh, the uh, opponent will have a minute to respond, to rebut, and then we'll go back to the person and he'll have 15 seconds to respond to that. As I mentioned to you before, Tara uh, will be receiving the first question. And the first question is this, Tara. What can we do to encourage local economic growth? Okay. There is a lot that we can do to spur economic growth here in the Hazleton area. And when you look around, you can see that there, are, there is such a need for jobs. We need jobs now in the Hazleton area. And we don't just need the low paying jobs that have come in. What we need is good family sustaining jobs. The people here are suffering. When I go around and I knock on doors, people are home. Middle-aged people that should be out in the workforce are home in the middle of the day. Seniors are trying to get back to work in order to pay bills. What we need to do in Pennsylvania, and part of my plan, is going to be to stimulate the economy by providing business incentives to small business owners. We need to get small businesses back on their feet because they used to be the heart of America and they should be the heart of Pennsylvania too. We have one of the highest corporate taxes here in Pennsylvania and we need to reduce that in order to bring corporations to Pennsylvania, bringing jobs and bringing growth. Those are good jobs that we need here right at home and I'm going to fight for that. And the only job that my, that we're going to basically need, I mean, with Mr. Representative Vichas, when he talks about jobs, you have to look at the fact that in 15 years over his record, we have lost 290,000 jobs in Pennsylvania, and that is so troubling. We have one of the highest unemployment rates here in the Hazleton area, over 15% in Hazleton, and we are above the national average, in above the northeastern Pennsylvania average as well. So we have to look at my opponent's record on jobs, and we have to start bringing jobs into the area, bringing jobs into the state. Thank you. Okay, now uh, Todd will have one minute to uh, respond to that. Todd? Well, let's be clear about the national economic crisis we're in. It's been challenging. I don't think that my record would indicate that I've somehow lost 290,000 jobs. I think that's an overprojection. But I've done real things as it relates to our own Hazelden Hospital system. I got a debt relief from the Department of Public Welfare over a million dollars for that hospital system. I've up, we've, that allowed them to increase their emergency room size and grow jobs. They're now going to be a, tra a trauma center, a level three trauma center. The bills on the governor's desk that I helped Jim Edwards and our hospital save those jobs. We need to maintain the manufacturing base in this community, save the jobs we've got for the guys who are out there and the women out there working every day. We've got to create a better business climate and a better tax climate. We also need to make sure that the incentives are there for business. For example, we have a job credit program for hiring. Many employers that I visited with this year, and there have been dozens that I've gone out to, have utilized that tax credit to incent additional hiring of Pennsylvania workers here in this community. Thank you, Todd. You've got 15 seconds, uh, Tara, to respond to that. The only job that Representative Eaches is concerned about is his own. Here in the Hazleton area, we need jobs, and you need a legislator that is going to serve you. Please vote for me, because I'm going to help bring jobs into this area and not keep on raising taxes and keeping jobs out. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Eaches, or Todd, this is your first question. Um, the Hazleton area has been struck with an influx of illegal immigrants in recent years. Why have, you, uh, why have you not offered a single piece of legislation to protect our area from illegal immigrants, much like the state of Arizona has? Well, that's inaccurate, Sam. Uh, there, we passed a bill just this year called the E-Verify Bill. It focuses on employers who hire illegal immigrants. In the, in the sector uh, where the most egregious action is, which is the construction sector, we put together a national database that allows for manufacturers to enter in the data about their employers and their employees. So when an employer hires somebody, they have to have a social security card, they have to have the information required by the federal government. That, that E-Verify system is a national database. Our employers in Pennsylvania need to make sure that they're hiring legal workers. If they're not hiring legal workers, they're putting legal people, our citizens, out of work. The E-Verify bill focuses clearly 
from the state's perspective on compliance from the employer. It also has sanctions against the employer. If in the event you do not uh, comply and you hire an illegal, there are serious consequences in the business model that relate to this. So to say that there's nothing been done in Pennsylvania, obviously we don't uh, do border control uh, from the state house. We don't do uh, immigration policy from there, but we can hold employers responsible who hire illegal immigrants. I voted for that. I advanced it on the House floor with my colleagues, and it was passed in a bipartisan way on the House floor. Okay, um, now Tara, you have one minute to respond to that. The fact of the matter is, is that there was Arizona-style legislation on the floor of the House, and Mr. Eaches failed to fight for that legislation. We are ground zero here in the Hazleton area for illegal immigration, and the effects of that are hurting our city daily. And you can look around and see the, the fact that in our communities, we are suffering from an influx of illegal immigration and the statistics, immigrants, and the statistics show that. What we have to do is we need a representative that is going to represent our area and represent the fact that the federal government is not doing their job and we need the state to step in and deal with the Ill illegal immigration problem. Okay, now Todd, you have 15 seconds to respond to that. Well, I want to respond to something that Ms. Tuhill said in the last segment, that I'm only out here to hold my own job. I've always approached this job on behalf of the people I represent, the working families who go to work every day, the people that meet with me in my office, the senior citizens who need help. This is not just about a job. If you're doing it for that reason, you're in the wrong business.